Are you sharing the seat with Mama? Hi. I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome back. My name is Lori. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark eBay, and I also had a whatnot sale today. I'm going to talk a little bit about whatnot later in the video. Today's video is sponsored by Whatnot. I have some really fun news about them. I love to do these ship and shop videos where I do a little bit of shipping, a little bit of shopping. Today we do a lot of shipping and a little bit of shopping. Are you comfortable? <laughs> is that a yes? So my husband Jay was a guest lecturer at a local college for an accounting class and I took the drive uh, close to Boston with him and there was a thrift store in the town. So I went thrifting. I only had about an hour to thrift and he taught his class and then we went out for a nice meal afterwards. So I just want to talk about the importance of making the most of even an hour at a thrift store. You want to get down Lumpy? It was very late in the day by the time I got to this thrift store, so I kind of assumed they had been picked over. I was actually in the store when they made the announcement we're closing in 10 minutes, so I literally had an hour. You're gonna see a video that comes out tomorrow or the next day about the Goodwill outlet in Boston, and I had all day to shop. It's a very different experience when you do this for money as a reseller, shopping all day and having a lot of time to go through things. And then when you have an hour or 30 minutes or 90 minutes, the time goes by so quickly sometimes. But the days where you have to go in and hyper focus on just okay what's going to make me money what is good quality not much time to run comps like get in get out that's the kind of thrift haul you're going to see today i only picked up five items but one of those items is a never pass item and we're going to talk about that later in the video but if you like videos about reselling and seeing what things actually sell for this is the video for you be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy today's video and you want to see more from me we'll meet back here after a very quick thrift with me i'll share with you what i picked up and the item that i never pass on and if you want to skip right to the haul i'll leave a timestamp here for you all right, we are going to start things off this morning with a sale on a robe. I purchased this in Connecticut. It is a Starbucks robe that I believe was an exclusive. All right, I needed to check my facts. This is a Korea exclusive. I don't know if it was sold in stores there, but it's pretty cool. Or if it was an online thing, um, I've had it for a little bit. It makes sense that it's selling now that we're heading into some warmer weather. I accepted like a 40% off offer on this because I've had it for probably six months. Happy to see it going because it takes up a little bit of space in my bins. Okay, I rummaged through to find this because it was pretty buried, but this is an Ed Hardy belt. These belts have been so good. Picked up like six of them at Goodwill in Boston and I paid $4 each and they are all selling between like $30 and $40, $25 and $45. This one in particular, had a lot of interest, um, but it sold for full asking price on eBay for $40. Don't sleep on these Ed Hardy belts. They are great. Next up is a bundle that sold. The woman who did this bundle actually put that Starbucks piece in her bundle, but I read that offer before I saw the bundle offer on these items and I accepted the $35 on the terry cloth robe. And I ended up losing a little bit of money because this this woman had offered me $90 and with the sales separately, it came to like 75. So I made a mistake on that one. Hold on. This one, I think her dress is buried. Okay. I found it. So this beautiful dress right here was in the bundle. This is a torrid dress, like off the shoulders. I'm surprised this didn't sell sooner. I thought this was such a pretty dress. So this and a pair of Jenny Intimates, which are some shorts that I got at the bins. Um, and she put it in a bundle. I offered $55 after the Starbucks piece was no longer available in her bundle and she countered with 42 and I accepted. But yeah, I left some money on the table on this one. I got a bunch of these Jenny Intimates um, at the bins one day. They were just pouring bags and bags of these new with tag items. Lumpy, what are you up to over there, young man? Sorry, that was a sideways view. I sold some of these nightgowns on whatnot. Sorry, my brain is not working yet this morning. And these are the shorts. So these sold in this bundle with the Torrid. They're really cute, soft sleep shorts. Retail for $21.99. I probably paid a dollar for them. We are heading out to see my daughter Angie and I have to do some shipping before I leave. These packed overalls, they're like an organic cotton. They have a bit of a following. I've had quite a few 
low offers and a lot of interest on these. So like bib overalls in a size extra large. They wound up selling for full asking price on eBay for $59. I was really happy about that. Sorry, it's hard to see it right here. The lighting's funky. Also on eBay, this hand painted belt sold for $20. Um, it looks like it's vintage, handmade in the USA. I had it listed for $32. It got a couple likes within hours on Poshmark, which I found interesting because it's it's not branded. Um, and then I got a $20 offer on eBay, which I accepted. I didn't even look at comps. I just kind of said, yeah, let's go for it. I think I paid three or $4. That's old. I'm happy. I probably could have held out for a little bit more, but it's going. This sale must have literally just come through and I'm really happy about it. I got this Botkier clutch at Goodwill. I think I paid five, $5, $4.99. Um, I just loved the style of it. I listed it at $58. It's a really nice bag. It sold for full asking just now on Poshmark. I can't believe it. I'm so happy about that. And these were a pair of redone shorts. I think I got these in a buyout where I paid $5 per item. They're Levi's redone. Um, and I had them listed for $89. The redone stuff can go for a fair amount. Um, are these them? I don't even know. I don't think so. Yes, sorry, let me pull back here. I received an offer for $55, which I thought was extremely fair. Very excited about this sale too. They just recycle a pair of Levi's and then they do the redone label on them. Um, pretty cool, $55. Hi everybody, we are back with another day of shipping. Been just trying to give you lots of samples of how sales are going. Um, this is a J. Jill linen shirt that I just posted. My video went live last night and this is going to my friend Marilyn who is such a loyal customer. Um, I listed this for $38. She sent me a $30 offer which I accepted. I paid $5.99. That's heading out. Hello handsome. He's upset. I just took plastic wrap away from him. Next up is a bundle that's sold and I love when somebody puts together just like such a good looking bundle. This was also in my video. This was the first item from my Goodwill haul to sell. This brand is Antique Craft. I had this listed for $44. The bundle total was $124 which came out to be just under a 30% off discount. I probably wouldn't have done 30% on this right away, but because it was in a bundle, um, it was a very reasonable offer, I thought. The next item in this bundle is a pair of jeans that I just picked up last week. I hit a shop that I got three pairs of jeans at. These were actually a little bit more special than I realized. They are the 90s straight ultra high rise, but they have this little crossover button in the front, which I totally missed. I totally missed it. I had them listed for $64, lots of interest on them. And yeah, now that I look at them, they're really cool. This is cool. This is a really neat little detail, I think, with the button and the little V crossover. So those were listed for $64. And then last up in this bundle are these St. Lucia, very cool flats from Free People. I bought these at the same Goodwill as I got the Abercrombie jeans and I knew they were pretty unique. I've been on the hunt for nice flats this season. Um, so I paid $12 for those. I had them listed for $65. So this three piece bundle, as I said, I think uh, my price was 170. I have an automatic 15% off, which would have brought it down to like 140 something. And then my buyer offered me um, 124, which I thought was very fair. I just dug for this one to spare you all the noise. Uh, this is a Simply Vera New With Tag uh, Navy Blue V-neck. I want to say it's like an A-line kind of ruffly style. Sold for $15. Um, this is something I probably would not pick up. Um, again, although it was New With Tag, I uh, probably picked it up at the bins for a really good price. I'm I'm going to uh, move this plastic off of it and make sure it's in good shape before it goes out because I think I've had this for a while. All right, and last item for Poshmark is this North Face jacket for kids. It sold for $26. I want to say I paid like five or six for this. I think I got this outside of Boston. Um, it's in really good shape, so I grabbed it. And I believe I had it listed for $38. It's looking kind of periwinkle blue, but it's more like a lavender, maybe in this lighting. Uh, maybe it is blue. <laughs> I take that back. Um, anyways, I think I sent out offers for $26 with discounted shipping. And it's sold. Are you hiding in there again? Hey. 
It's like, you need to get out of there, young man. Come on, out. You hide it? <laughs> He's so funny. I'm gonna leave an entrance for you to come out, okay? Oh, is that working for you? Good boy. You're so silly. The last sale is this huge robe from L.L. Bean. I picked this up with my girlfriend, Kim. She brought it over to me and I was hesitant to get it because it is so big and bulky. However, you know, I love L.L. Bean and I thought this robe was really great. Also, it had like the little embroidered logo here on the chest and it retails for $128. It was an extra large plus tall, which made it a little unique. I listed it for $68. I received a $50 offer on eBay. I was kind of hoping it would sell on Poshmark so I wouldn't have to worry about shipping, but we charged $12.99 to ship this. So an $18 discount, um, but I had to just cover myself in case it's going far. So that is a win for me. I paid $5 for this. Pretty exciting. Okay, so quick word about Whatnot. If you're unfamiliar with Whatnot, it's a live selling platform where you are able to show your stuff in real time and sell to the people in your show. It's like Poshmark, but you get to interact with the person selling. I sold my very first cross-listed item that I was able to cross post from Poshmark to Whatnot. And it was very exciting. It was a Talon dress that I bought. I picked it up on style. Very bohemian, very like Johnny Was vibes. I think I had it listed for maybe $44 or $38 over on Poshmark. When I list things on Whatnot, I list them a little bit lower because the fees are lower on Whatnot. And when you put something in Buy It Now, it's just Buy It Now. There's no haggling, there's no offers being sent. So you can either sell things as an auction or you can just keep them in your Buy It Now section and people can go, go in and purchase them anytime, just like they can with Poshmark and eBay. So this is kind of a new concept to me. So I had a whatnot show last week and you're going to see the haul from that whatnot show tomorrow or the next day. I sold 44 items. It's such a fast way to unload items. After the show, it had been a couple hours. I was driving to see my mom and I got a notification that that Tolani dress sold for $32. All I had to do was enter the weight. Then I was able to cross list it. In the next few weeks and months, I am going to be spending some time moving my items over to whatnot. It's in beta right now, so I don't think everybody has the option in Vendu yet, but I'm telling you, it is so streamlined. If you use my link, you can sign up for Whatnot at any time. And if it's your first time signing up, you can use my link and you'll get $15 off your first purchase. It doesn't have to be at my show. It can be at anybody's show. So I will have a link below and you can tune in and observe some shows before you may decide if you want to sell on your own, or maybe you just want to do shopping for yourself and find some great bargains or perhaps pick up some things for reselling, but it's a really fun platform and it keeps getting better and better, just like Vendu. So I have links for both Vendu and whatnot, of course, in the description. Let's go see what else sold and then we'll go thrifting. Okay, I don't even know what day we're on, but hopefully you are getting a good idea of what is selling in my closet. This just sold. It is Friday. This is an antique craft bag. I'm so happy because I've purchased two of these within the past couple of months and they both sold. One sold a couple days ago for $40 in a bundle. Uh, maybe it went for a little bit less because I think I had it priced at $44 and it was just under a 30% off bundle. This, however, I priced at $50. I love this brand. Look at this awesome tassel. And I just received a $45 offer on Poshmark, which I accepted $5. If, if all of the offers could be so generous. Next up is an eBay sale that was quite unexpected. I think I just got this listed this week. It is a Jack Nicholson, Jack, Jack Nicholas, <laughs> not the actor, the golfer. It's a new with tag shirt. It sold for full asking price of $34. I got this the day that I got the Burberry coat and I think I paid $5 for all the new with tag items. Let me grab it. Are you a good helper, Lumpy? It's right here. Um, I don't think I had the original price on this, but here it is, new with tag. It's a great golf shirt. Golf season is here. Size large, $34, not bad. Next up um, is a new with tag item from Anthropology. I just picked this up in New York at that store, which was the most beautiful Goodwill I had ever been in. Um, so this sold very quickly. Um, this is a button down shirt, oversized from Anthropology and an extra large. 
I paid $6 for this, $5.99. I think I had this price like in the $58 or $60 range. I got a $45 offer, which I accepted because I only paid $6 and it was a really quick sale. All right, I'm gonna grab these and I pulled some stuff from earlier today. Don't mind the yellow lighting here. We are heading to New York tomorrow for my son Anthony's birthday. So I'm trying to get all my stuff shipped out tonight. This was such a huge surprise. I bought this at Salvation Army in Fitchburg years ago. It is kind of like a streetwear look. Uh, it's Puma and UEG. I don't even know what this brand is. I have had this listed for $71 for the longest time. It's a really cool piece. That sold with this packed shirt, which is also from the New York store that I just went to. I think I had this priced at $50. And this pair of North Face. These remind me of the dance studio pants from Lululemon. Anyways, this bundle sold for $124. I have an automatic 15% off discount um, for any bundle that's three or more items. So that was great. So the things that I purchased in New York are moving pretty well. I hope it was helpful to see some of the things that have been selling for me. That's just a sampling. If you ever want to see my solds, you can always go to Poshmark. Just click sold and then you'll see what everything is selling for. eBay and Poshmark have become so much closer as far as like what's selling where. And to circle back to whatnot for a quick second, I sold 40 items in one sitting. I've only sold about 40 items on Poshmark this entire month and it is April 21st as I'm filming this video. eBay, I'm not sure what my eBay numbers are at. I think I'm at a little over a thousand in sales and maybe like 15 or 20 sales. Whatnot does really move things quickly if that's your goal, but I personally like having all three platforms. Hi everybody, I'm trying to avoid the sunlight here. I'm outside of Boston. My husband Jay is a guest speaker at a college today. I decided to come thrifting, of course. I'm gonna do an hour of thrifting and then I actually have to go do an hour of work as well. And then I'm gonna pick them up and we're gonna go, I think, for Mexican. Hi everybody. This is another store that plays great music that I can't share with you for copyright reasons. I thought it was so cool when I saw these old school Fava shoes. Does anybody remember that store? I remember it so well at the Sears Town Mall when I was a kid. Um, their shoes, I think, are on the pricier side here. These are some nice Lulu heels. Um, I'm not really in the market for shoes. I thought this little latch hook rug was very cool. All these memories were creeping up on me when I was thrifting on this day. I thought this vintage wind chime was really cool, but they had it priced at $29, so I passed on that. Taking a peek at some of the shirts, this Jay McLaughlin shirt I passed on. This looks like it's solitaire but um, it was not. That looks like a little boutique brand, but I did like the style of that. That might have been cute for a whatnot show. I considered getting this airy offline shirt for myself, but I put it back. I didn't love it, so. Now I head over to the 199 rack, which is honestly where I spend most of my time and I will show you some of the things that I'm considering that Toad & Co. top this vintage Boston t-shirt with that Delta tag. And then right as I'm getting ready to leave, I spot this in the swimsuit area. I actually walked over to the section looking for cover-ups and then I was focusing in on new with tag items. I was so thrilled. Had a couple more minutes left. I was looking through the men's section. This store tends to carry some really good styles for men. This tag looked interesting to me, but um, I don't think it turned out to be anything special. I bought a couple things for Poshmark and eBay and a couple things for whatnot. So let me just show you the types of things I would sell on which platform. Let's start with this shirt. This one I'm torn about because I love this Boston t-shirt. It's cropped. 
It's cut here. It's too bad I didn't have this for St. Patrick's Day, but it has this um, Delta Pro Weight tag. And this is a vintage tag. This particular shirt was made in Honduras, so it's very likely that this is from the early 2000s or late 90s. I was looking on some Reddit um, strands. This is a newer tag, so to speak. Some of these Delta Pro weights go back to the 80s, and I think that some of those vintage t-shirts are worth a lot more money. Also, this one's cut. That can take away from the value. I don't think it's single stitched, although I wouldn't be able to tell because it's cut on the sleeves. I don't know if this would show up as a single stitch. If you're a t-shirt person, would it be single stitched here in the shoulder as well? Being a Boston girl, I obviously really love it. Uh, it's really cute. So I feel like this could do pretty well on whatnot because I get a lot of people from Boston in my shows. I also think this could be a fun thing to sell on Poshmark, but I will likely sell this on whatnot because I just like selling stuff from Cape Cod, Nantucket, Martha's Vineyard, Boston. I just enjoy selling my local stuff at my whatnot show. So this would probably go to whatnot. This is another shirt that uh, I could do this on either platform. Oh, by the way, these, I have four things that came off that $1.99 rack, and I was kind of struggling finding something else in the store until I found the item that I never leave behind, which I showed in the video, so you already know it's a bathing suit. We're gonna talk about that at the very end, but I always hit that $1.99 rack. I have found scotch and soda sweaters in that section, or sweatshirts, I found like two of them, and those sold for really decent money on Poshmark. So sometimes I find some real gems in that section. It's just based on how long it's been in the store. If it's there for too long, it gets a second tag. The blue tag shows, I believe, when it came in the store, and then the yellow tag, I think is for that $1.99 rack. So if it's been there a long time, it just ends up there. Anyway, this is just a Lulu's top. I would probably also do on whatnot. I feel like my Lulu stuff has been really sitting, unless it's like a current maxi dress. I have Lulu's that is new with tag that is still sitting in my Poshmark closet. Let me know in the comments if Lulu's is a brand that you are still picking up or if that's a brand you're passing on. Kind of like the accordion hem on this. I think it could be styled in a lot of different ways. Because of that, I would like to talk about this on whatnot. And it was only $2. So if it sells for six or eight or $10, that's not a big deal. It's something out the door. I make a quick profit and it's out. This right here is the brand Surf Gypsy. It's a little Little boho looking there's the tag it's a size medium it's kind of like that crinkle fabric you could probably wear it slouchy off of one shoulder maybe off of both shoulders or just wear it up on your shoulders it has a tie in the front an elastic waistband it's on the shorter side but it's got this really pretty lace crochet looking um, hem and some of these sell for decent like I would say between 20 and 30 dollars so this was a dollar 99 I might list this I plan to list this you know if I'm seeing comps between 20 and 30 dollars and I just paid two that's something that I will list and then one last thing that I also plan on listing is this toad and co dress this is an extra small I really like the color on this it's got the cap sleeves it's just kind of like an outdoorsy active wear style dress. I feel like it's similar to some of the Patagonia dresses you see or some of the Athleta dresses. Some of these comps are in the $30 range too, a lot between 20 and 30. Same with this other, the Gypsy, the Surf Gypsy. So even if each of these sold for just $20, that would be $40 on a $4 investment. Even though I didn't have much time, I really focused on the $1.99 rack and I found some good things. But by far, the winner of the day came after they made the announcement that they were closing in 10 minutes. And this is a brand I never pass on. Well, I'll talk about when I would pass on it, but I especially would not pass on a miracle suit that was new with tag in black in a plus size. What's funny about this is that at this particular store, they have boutique stuff at the front of the store and they have a lot of Lululemon. I actually, fun fact, at this store got a Canada Goose jacket for $240. Lumpy, what now, honey? I think my neighbors are out on a walk again. Anyways, I flipped that Canada Goose for over $500. I thought for sure that this would be marked up because these bathing suits sell for $180 or $200. This is the Sanibel style, and this particular suit doesn't have um, the price tag on it, but if I looked up Sanibel Black online, new with tag Sanibel, $72, $75. These are all new with tag. These are Poshmark 
numbers so there's a chance that they were sold in a bundle and so you're seeing the full price item and maybe it sold for less however this was only six dollars and 99 cents i spent fourteen dollars and fifty cents on this day on these five items so my cost of goods was minimal i only had an hour miracle suit is something i never want to pass on the trouble with buying miracle suits is because it's a bathing suit and it goes in chlorine sometimes you'll find that the information on the tag is washed out my good friend heidi who i've mentioned several times on this channel she's restyle secrets on instagram and on poshmark she was collecting data from anybody who had miracle suits heidi if you're in the comments by chance maybe you could send us a link so she was gathering measurements from people in the community and she was going to do like a chart like if you find a miracle suit that doesn't have the size tag these measurements are what's lining up with this size based on you know all the information that she has gotten so i thought that that was such a great idea to help the community size these if the size was not included but obviously new with tag i was like you've got to be kidding me so i'm hoping to get between 70 and 95 dollars for this um, on amazon the sanibel tummy control underwire is 180 dollars this is a size 22 i wonder if it's a different price in a larger size. They don't even have it in a size 22. That could mean that I'll get more for it. Then there was another one that I took a screenshot of on their actual website. And I just took a screenshot of the plus size version of this. It doesn't say Sanibel, but I'll pop a picture up here. This shows like the ruching on one side, which is similar to this. And it's $202 in the plus size. Finding awesome miracle suits is like printing money. I love finding them. So even though I had just an hour, even if this sells say for $60, which I'm pretty confident it will sell for more. And then my two items that I list sell for 20, that's a hundred. And then say my other two items sell for $10 each on whatnot say. That's $120. Then once you take your fees and you factor in that I paid Tina, maybe I clear about $70 after everything. That was one hour that I spent in the thrift store. If you look at what's selling in your closet or just scroll, th scroll through solds on Poshmark and do some research on certain brands, or if you're not familiar with brands but you know how to identify quality fabric like linen, cashmere, baby alpaca, things like that, there's money to be made almost anywhere. Let me know in the comments if miracle suit is something that you've known about for a long time if you enjoy picking it up if you struggle with the size tags let me know what you think about this six dollar and fifty cent new with tag miracle suit that i found i thought it was a miracle that i found it with like 10 minutes before the store closed thank you guys so much for watching remember to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me i have a great bins haul coming your way very soon that's all for today's video i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon in another video bye Remember to sign up for WhatNot using my link and you'll get $15 in credit to spend on your first purchase.